through Jericho on their way to Jerusalem. Now a huge crowd of excited people were all along the road, and right at the back was a little man named Zacchaeus, who worked as a tax collector for the Romans. Nobody liked Zacchaeus, and nobody trusted him, because he had got very rich demanding high taxes and keeping an extra large slice for himself. Like everyone, Zacchaeus had heard about Jesus and wanted to see him. But stuck at the back of the crowd, he couldn't see anything other than the backs of the people in front. He tried pushing by people and squeezing in between them, but no one would make room for him. Then he had an idea. He ran ahead of the crowd and climbed up into a sycamore tree that overhung the road. Now he had the perfect place from which to watch Jesus go by. As Jesus passed the tree, he stopped and looked up. He saw Zacchaeus, perched like a bird in the branches, and to everyone's surprise, he called up to this little man that nobody liked. Come down, Zacchaeus, said Jesus. I want to stay in your house today. Zacchaeus was so shocked that he didn't move. Hurry up, called Jesus. To the astonished Zacchaeus, he scrambled down. But the people weren't happy that Jesus wanted to visit the house of someone who had robbed them of their money. Zacchaeus stood looking at Jesus and suddenly started to feel like a new man. You are welcome to come to my house, he said. And, and, I'll, give, and I'll give away to the poor half of everything I have. And then he added in a loud voice so everyone could hear. And if I've cheated any of you, I'll pay you back four times as much. The crowd was surprised, but Jesus told them, whatever Zacchaeus has done wrong, God has forgiven him. Zacchaeus kept his promises, and although he was still a little man, people stopped looking down on him. It was almost as if meeting Jesus had made him grow. Thank you.